Hello, you're watching Feedbackula with me, Seb Ford, not Johnny Chiodini. He's just gone, but he did leave me a note. Johnny is cancelled. I am Johnny. I take the comments and I run. This is as much as I can feed Bacula. This isn't the result of any one Johnny, but the end of a long, beardy campaign. You, Seb. Well, that's just the kind of grammatical accuracy you would expect from the creator of the internet's most grammatically inaccurate show. In other news, Fez 2 is cancelled and Phil Fish has done a runner. It's a bad time to be a beardy games person. Oui, Monsieur Philippe Poisson has le quit making le fez de. The indie games developer, seen here looking grumpy and alone, released the brilliant and undeniably adorable fez after a five-year development. We loved it so much, he started work on a second. Except now, after an angry Twitter bitching match between himself and self-proclaimed games opinionist Marcus Beer, he's bailed on the industry and on his highly anticipated sequel. I'm done. Fez 2 is cancelled. Goodbye. Win, Mr. Beer. That fish smell. Gone now. Hope it don't come back. He screwed himself and his career with his attitude and comments, and he's behaving like a spoiled child, taking his ball and going home. He no doubt wants people to feel guilty and beg him to come back to boost his fragile yet gigantic ego. Maybe when he grows up, he can make some more good games. I guess you can say that the fish is off the hook. Rage quit of the century. Fish broke the number one rule. Don't feed the trolls. What am I missing here? What abuse? What's the origin behind this? That's just the kind of conveniently probing question I was looking for, DP1130. Give yourself a pat on the back. It goes like this. Yeah. We found out Microsoft is going to allow self-publishing on Xbox One. Game Informer went to famed indie devs Phil Fish and Jonathan Blow for comment. They said, no, stop asking for our opinion. To which Marcus Beer said, you can't have it both ways. You're successful game designers, you're indie game designers. Hurrah, good for you, you f***ing hipsters. Curse words aside, the crux of his argument was that if Phil Fish and Jonathan Blow want press coverage when it comes to shilling their game, they should be prepared to offer insight and comment when a story relevant to their situation comes a-calling. You should be grateful these guys still consider what you say as something of use. Me, I think that both of you are a pair of tosspots. Hey, f face. The thing with us tosspots hipsters is that we're not beholden to media leeches like you. Compare your life to mine and then kill yourself. Tosspot, noun, English slang, means not a very nice person. Oh dear. <laughs> Fez, good. Fish, no good. The only reason I didn't buy Fez was because the creator is such a whiny drama queen. I understand why his partner left on Fez. The dude is a nutbag. What the f***? I'm very disappointed with Fish right now. I actually respected him for speaking his mind. He needs to man the f***ing up. This is the harsh world. F***ing get used to it. This is why parents should be allowed to beat their children. What? No, it's not. What? If Fish can't take criticism after making a good game, Think of what happens when he makes a bad game. To all you faceless bastards bashing Phil Fish, go f*** yourselves. Maybe if you could all pull your heads out of the monitors that are firmly attached to your infected colons, you'd be able to actually accomplish something as grand in scope like an actual video game that brings joy to many people instead of just lambasting one person. F*** you all and I hope you have a sh ass day tomorrow, you f***ing low-life scumbags. Now, now, actually, no one's really bashing Fez. It's the fact that what Fish has in game design brilliance he lacks in social grace. The guy's put himself in a tricky situation. He obviously poured his heart and soul into Fez, and as his own PR, he's unsurprisingly had a hard time separating himself from the haters. He responds to the personal attacks, the trolls get fed some more, and Everon does the spat wheel of flingery spin. To be clear, I'm not cancelling Fez 2 because some boorish said something stupid. I'm doing it to get out of games. And I'm getting out of games because I choose not to put up with this abuse anymore. Kind of sounds like you've argued your own case down there, Phil. But sure, understood, we have been kind of mean sometimes. I mean, I haven't. But these guys have. 
What a little bitch! Poor Phil Fish was such a bitch, he couldn't look at himself in the mirror. So he took to Twitter, got owned and got bitter, so he took it out on Feds 2 and threw it with his litter. I blame EA. God damned EA. This fish got canned. Yet another proof, he is the asshole. First took a shit on the guy, and later cried. Let's not jump to pointing fingers of who took a shit on who. You see, it's a bit like Phil Fish was introduced to the internet yesterday, and no one's told him yet that it doesn't matter if some people don't like him, or his game, or his beard, or anything. I mean, we call people dicks on this show all the time. And in return, we get called terrible things. Water off a duck's back. Let's go with the last comment. Fex cancel, Journey 2 is never gonna happen. Oh well, I will check what new game I can get at Byhazecom. Oh, we're talking about Journey now, apparently. That's all from me this week, and hopefully your beloved beardy host will make his return next Friday. But what do you make of Mr. Fish? Is he being a little bitch, or power to him? And if you were holding out for Fez 2, well, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Which you'd know if you joined the Navy. Yes, you can sail the seven seas. Fez her? I barely know her. Am I right?